Today we're going to look at an example of a classic type of problem, which is sometimes known as a mutilated chessboard problem. And this one comes from the Virginia Tech Regional Math Contest, which is sometimes seen as a warm-up for the Putnam exam. That being said, before we look at this problem, let's do a bit of a warm-up. And the warm-up is, can we tile a 6x6 six six chessboard with 4x1 tiles? Okay, so how are we going to approach this? Well, the idea is to assign every square on this chessboard a number. And then, well, the argument will be built out of that assignment. And since we're working with 4x1 tiles, it kind of hints towards using maybe fourth roots of unity. In other words, the numbers 1, i, minus 1, and minus i. Those are all solutions to the equation z to the fourth equals 1. And here our tiling will be in a simple periodic pattern. So that means I'll start here with a 1, and then we'll have i, minus 1, minus i, 1, i, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to complete the square using this strategy. So here we have i minus 1 minus i 1, i minus 1. And now, well, let's just get it completed. Okay, so there we've got our completed chessboard. And now what I'd like to do is look at the total sum of all of these numbers that are in this board. So let's do it row-wise. So let's observe that if we sum this first row, we get some cancellation. The 1, the minus 1, the i, the minus i, and then we get left over 1 plus i. And then we can similarly sum all of these other rows. Notice that the first, first four terms always cancel. So here we're left with minus 1 plus i. This will be minus 1 minus i. Here we'll get 1 minus i. Here we'll get 1 plus i again, and here we'll get uh, minus 1 plus i. And now, well, since we've summed the rows, all we have to do to finish our summation is to sum the maybe remaining sum of the rows. In other words, that kind of built-on column that we have. But let's observe that we get some simplification here as well. This 1 plus i cancels this minus 1 minus i. And then let's see, this 1 minus i will cancel this minus 1 plus i. And then we have minus 1 plus i plus 1 plus i. So in the end, that sum will be 2i. But now let's compare that to the sum of everything covered by a 1 by 4 tile. So if we lay a tile across these four, the sum is kind of obviously equal to zero. If we lay a tile over these four, we get something that's obviously zero. And in fact, you can see any tile will cover numbers that sum to zero. So like I said, these all sum to zero. But then if we had a tiling of this chessboard, that would lend itself towards the entire sum being equal to zero. That's because, well, we would get a sum of zero under all of the tiles, just add up a bunch of zeros, and you would get zero. But notice that we just calculated this entire sum to be 2i, which is not equal to zero. So that answers this question up here. No, this is not possible. Now let's move on to our main question over here, which is, a little bit more complicated, but we'll use a similar trick. Let's suppose we remove the center square from a 19 by 19 chessboard. Now we want to determine if it's possible to tile this with 1 by 4 or 4 by 1 tiles. And I guess I should say here that the answer is probably no, because it would be hard to build such a tiling if it existed, unless it were super obvious. And in that case, it would be kind of too easy. So we want to have our first guess as to the possibility here to be no. And, well, we're going to use a similar strategy to this right here, but let's get a small mock-up of our 19 by 19 chessboard on the board. 
Okay, so I've got my mock-up of our chessboard here and notice like by this setup, I'm removing a square which is about right here. And that square right here will be the 10-10 position. That's just what puts you in the middle of a 19 by 19 chessboard. Okay, now, well, I guess maybe the first guess would be to tile this exactly the same as we did before with powers of i. But in fact, that doesn't quite work here. We're going to need something a little bit more subtle. And the way that we do it here is to place the number and well it is going to be a power of i but like i said it's kind of a more subtle power of i so it's going to be i to the power 2m plus n in the mn position so i've laid out my chessboard so it's kind of pretty obvious what the mn position is but let's observe that this i to the 2m plus n is in fact just equal to minus 1 to the m times i to the n. So we've got like a mixture of roots of negative 1, or sorry, roots of 1 and roots of negative 1. Okay, so, well, let's see what the first couple of rows would look like. Well, maybe not the whole row, but the first couple of entries. So by this rule right here, we would have a minus i in this location, and then we would have an i, a minus i, an i, a minus i, an i, a minus i, and so on and so forth. So let's observe that we're in fact simply alternating i's or minus i's. And then in this second row, we're gonna have a one, a minus one, a one, a minus one, a one, a minus one, so again, we're simply alternating ones and minus ones. And then in the third row, based off of that rule, we're gonna again be alternating i's and minus i's, but now we start with an i. So we've got i minus i, i minus i, and so on and so forth. And then similarly down here, we're gonna have negative one, one, negative one, one, and so on and so forth. And now, now let's look at what's happening in the deleted square. So notice the deleted square is the position m equals 10, n equals 10. So we can plug 10, 10 into that formula and we'll have minus one to the 10 times i to the 10. But that's pretty clearly equal to minus one. So that's what's deleted. Okay, so now let's find the sum of the whole board. But of course, we can get that by taking the sum of the whole board unmutilated, if you will, without the deleted square, and then, well, subtract off negative one. In other words, add in the number one. So let's see, that means we're gonna have a one plus, and then we'll have the sum as m and n go from one to 19 of minus one to the m times i to the n. And then this one plus out front is just from subtracting the minus one like we said before. But now let's observe that this is a pretty simple calculation since this is a product of a m sequence and an n sequence, we can factor this sum as the sum as m goes from one to 19 of minus one to the m times the sum as n goes from one to 19 of i to the n. But then of course, of course, this is pretty easy to sum because all of these terms will cancel each other in pairs. So the first will cancel with the second, the third with the fourth, the fifth with the sixth, and so on and so forth. And that's in this first sum. So that means we're just left with the 19th, which doesn't pair with anything. So that means that the sum of this first bit will be minus one because again, we don't get any pairing. And then, well, since i plus i squared plus i cubed plus i to the fourth equals zero, that means that these will simplify or cancel out to zero in chunks of four. So that means the sum up to 16 will be equal to zero if you just chunk it into pieces that are, you know, like I said, powers of i, i, i squared, i cubed, and i to the fourth. That means in the end, we're gonna be left with, let's see, the i to the 17, which turns out to be i, plus i squared, which is minus one, plus 
uh, minus i, which is i to the 19. So just to reiterate, that minus one is really i to the 18 here. Those are the only ones that survive. But observe that this i and this minus i cancel, just leaving us with a minus one for that sum as well. So that means all together we have one plus minus one times minus one. In other words, we have the number two. But now let's, on the other hand, notice that the sum under any one by four, or I guess I should say four by one tile is equal to zero. So that's really pretty easy to check. So for a one by four tile, we're gonna fix M and then N will go from N to N plus one to N plus two to N plus three. So in other words, the sum under the one by four tile is minus one to the M and then we'll have I to the N plus I to the N plus one plus I to the N plus two plus I to the N plus three. But that's pretty clearly equal to zero. You can factor out an I to the N if you'd like to. And then, well, a very, very similar argument will show that the sum under a four by one tile is also equal to zero. But that means if we had a tiling with these types of tiles, the sum under all of the tiles would be equal to zero, and thus the sum under the entire mutilated chessboard would be equal to zero. But we also just counted it up to be equal to two. And so that's a contradiction, meaning that such a tiling is in fact impossible.